welcome back to another brand new video. Today it's Friday, and instead of doing a face-off Friday today, we are going to take a look at another subscription box. This is the dugout box. We've got a few other subscription boxes we already covered this month. We did the three different options for the boom box. We did the pen box, and we had a couple other ones. I think we're only missing the shoe box, Grand Slam Card Club, and uh, maybe the Big Bad box. We'll see if those come in. But anyway, we got the dugout box right now. Let's check this out, folks. Uh, this is the first, my first time covering it, so I do not know too much about it. I hope that there is a little sell sheet in here. One of our um, channel viewers said that this would be on the way to look out for it. I was thinking about doing an Amazon video. Not Amazon. Why do I keep saying that? I said, I told Heather, yeah, I found some cards at Amazon today. She's like, what? Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble. I did a Barnes & Noble video as well. Had some luck finding cards there. So that was my other option for today. Probably will end up releasing that one maybe at some point this weekend or early next week. Anyway, here we go. Hope everyone has had a very good Friday. I hope you've had a great week. It's time for the weekend. Valentine's Day just around the corner, so let's take a look. So inside, there's all the packs. I see some newer stuff. I see a hobby pack of archives. Now let's take a look at uh, this note here. Before I read into the note, because it's going to kind of spoil all the fun of seeing what packs are in here, because they list, they itemize the list of packs. I like to see what we've got. So first, let's take a look at what we've got pack-wise. We have an archives hobby pack. We've got a... Hobby pack of Tops Update. We've got a Series 2 Hobby Pack. We've got a Series 1 Hobby Pack. We've got a 1992 Upper Deck Pack. We've got a Pro Debut Hobby Pack. We've got a, a couple of Heritage Packs, High Number and Minor League, all in, all in. We've got eight total packs, seven new, and they're all hobby, which is nice. Typically, hobby packs range from 4 5 $6. Probably the average price is $5 for a hobby pack. Um, sometimes you can maybe find them for four, but that is pretty nice. Um, and there's also a thank you pack in here as well. We'll check that one out and see what we've got there. So let's check out the note here. What do you think this goes for before we look at the price tag on it? Any guesses? Remember, you got to factor in probably about $5 shipping. All right, let's see what we've got here. It says, hey, Jabs, this is the first edition of the Dugout Box, my new subscription box that has been about six months in the making. It was seeing your videos on YouTube that reawakened my desire to collect baseball cards again after being away from the hobby for about 20 years, so thank you for that. The February Dugout Box has eight packs, all hobby, as we never intend to do retail packs and consist of each of the following, which we just pulled out of there. The, the upper deck is a high number pack. It says, one of this month's boxes will include a nice hit, which will be a 2018 Shoei Otani rookie card. I also included a thank you for all you do for the hobby. I know you're a Pirates fan, but I figured as a Braves fan, I could spread the wealth a little and could offer you this for one of your upcoming auctions. Very nice of you. Thank you so much for that. The dugout box has a limited run of only 15 are available as of the printing of this letter, but I can run more and also anticipate a new box from March. It will contain a, a Wander Franco Series 1 uh, rookie card there. Chase for Wander. And the box, if you said this is $50, you're wrong. You said $60, you're wrong. You said $70, you're wrong. It's $39.99, so $40 for this. And uh, like I said, folks, that's about, I, I think that's a pretty fair price. Like I was telling you, Hobby Packs run, run 4 to $5 per pack. Now, this pack here is probably like a, about a dollar pack or so. If you bought a whole box of these, you, you know, uh, typically... Older junk wax is about twenty twenty five dollars a box. So I mean, all together there, we've got about uh, thirty five dollars in packs, maybe plus ten dollars um, to go to eBay and shipping fees. So I think that's a pretty fair price. Um, thirty forty dollars all together. All right, so let's check it out. I'm going to start things off with uh, how about we go with the pro debut pack and see what we can find in here. All right, so we have a Travis Swaggerty leading things off. Now, I'm hoping for an autograph. Now, these are not the higher-end hobby packs. Like, we don't have, like, Bowman's Best or Bowman Draft, stuff like that that has the higher odds of finding autos. Now, with Pro Debut, that was probably our best chance of finding an autograph. There's, like, four autographs per box. 
But most of these are just one hit per box. One, 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 one. These all have one hit per box, and usually they're relics. The Archives has two autographs per box. I, I might as well get the high number series done, 1992, upper deck, and see if we can maybe get super lucky and find one of those autographs that they're running in there. The Bench and Morgan, looks like. All right, so high number series. We got Tom Candiotti, the Candyman, about ready to unleash a knuckleball right there. We've got Wally Joyner. By the way, tomorrow I think I am going to run an auction tomorrow because the Super Bowl is coming up. So I think we'll do a consignment auction, and it's a big one. I'm talking like five, eight hundred count boxes, and then we'll have a uh, Saturday showdown one v one that I'm also planning. That's in the works right now. Nice Ruben Sierra insert card right there. We got one of the Ted Williams cards. I don't know how rare this is. Um, I personally don't remember pulling any of these, but I don't think I was buying any high number packs of uh, 1992 Upper Deck, but that's kind of cool card right there. All right, so next I'm going to go ahead and do Heritage Minor League and see if we can hit a Wander Franco in this. He is in this set. He's got two cards in the set. He's got a base card, and he's also got an in-action card. For a minute there, I thought we had one there, because I think uh, Wander was on the Lake County captain, so I got a little excited. Way over Piguero there. Um, says the Pirates picked him up from the Diamondbacks for Starling Marte, so that's where he came from, in case you were wondering. He's a pretty good prospect. There's Michael Harris, James Beard, and Shea Langliers, almost looking identical to Brain Shoemake there. Almost uh, thought I had two of the same cards, so nothing crazy yet. Next, we'll go with Heritage High Number. And we'll see what we've got in this bad boy. There's Francisco Lindor, Garrett Crochet, rookie performers of Casey Mize, Walker Bueller. That one's a short print, by the way, card number 712. Anything over 700 is a short print, so nice Bueller short print. That's probably the uh, best card of the video so far. What else can we find? I'll tell you what, this is a low-end box that kind of really rivals... We don't really see subscription boxes for $40 or under $40 anymore. There's very few I can think of. There's this, and there's also the Grand Slam Card Club, and I think that's honestly it. So um, they, I feel like the average subscription box price is about $90. So uh, it's nice to get uh, all hobby packs in here as well. I think next I'm going to go with the update pack and see what we can find in this one. And there's something in there. I saw a little sparkle. Maybe we have an icy orange or something like that. We'll see what we've got. There's Davey Garcia. Jamo, Jamison Tyon, Bobby Dalbeck rookie debut card. And it is going to be a, I guess that's a red sparkle out of 199. Reddish, orangish. It is a Garrett Stubbs. So we got a nice parallel there. And there's Yoshi Sutsugo. He actually finished the season up with the Pirates, so kind of weird that they put him in the Dodgers uniform there. He didn't last too long with the Dodgers. He played the beginning of the season with them. was terrible. And then the Pirates picked him up, and he was actually okay, enough that the Pirates offered him a contract for this coming season, which, by the way, hopefully we have baseball soon. Doing the Series 2 pack next. It seems like Rob Manfred was pretty uh, optimistic about there being baseball in the coming months maybe we might not even have a delay to the season here with uh the owners and players slated to meet tomorrow the owners are going to give some ground the dh is going to be here to stay in both leagues they're going to have a draft lottery so teams can't tank to get the number one overall pick and just purposely lose which you know some teams obviously did that just look to the astros they astros and cubs made it an art by being bad, and also the Nationals are pretty good at it. They got Bryce Harper and Steven Strasburg out of it. Uh, so you could be bad and then get good draft picks, and then once those draft picks are ready to come up, sign some free agents, you would be a pretty darn good club. But now they're, they want to stop that. I guess that benefits the players because if more teams are competitive, they're going to sign more free agents, and the players will ultimately get more money. Nothing too crazy in this pack. We did get a gold card, though, of Danny Duffy, so... So far, unfortunately, we've had a kind of a rough go of it. The Archives pack is going to be the last possible saving grace. Can we find an autograph in here? There's a Kill Badu. Nice rookie card there. we got Jose Ramirez, Jared Walsh, Victor Robles, Eddie Murray, and Logan Gilbert. So we tried. We failed at the autographs. Walker Buehler short print. Probably the best card in there. But 
Yeah, could see what you can find in a dugout box. There's only 15 on there, $40 for um, seven newer hobby packs plus an older pack. Eight packs in total. And we also have a thank you here. So thank you very much for sending this our way. Jason Jones of the Dugout Box said, this is a thank you to auction this off. And it is an Atlanta Braves Tops Now World Series set. That's pretty cool. I, um, I've i never seen this before. It must be a, a special set to commemorate the World Series 2021 and the Braves 2021 World Series. There's Ian Anderson with the big old beard there. We've got Max Freed. Max Freed and Ian Anderson coming into their own. Will Smith. So a Braves fan would definitely probably be interested in this. Tyler Matzik. Charlie Morton. Now, I would not be surprised if Topps now somehow tried to work Ronald Acuna Jr. into the set. Like Ronald Acuna Jr. sitting in the dugout or <laughs> like on crutches. Just trying to get his face in here somehow, some way. There's Travis Darno. We've got a Freddie Freeman. Of course, Acuna was injured for the year way back in at uh, early July. There's Ozzy Albies. We've got Austin Riley, who's just really, really blossoming. Dansby Swanson. We've got all the big players in here. Adam Duvall. There's Jock Peterson. Eddie Rosario. And we're going to finish this off with your MVP, Jorge Soler. So a really nice set right there. So Jason, thank you very much. And we'll run that in one of our future auctions when it's my auction. Right now, coming up, I've got a nice consignment of a whole bunch of Justin Harris's cards to do. Lots of great stuff in there. We did an auction last night of uh, Paul Z's cards. Lots of great stuff there. So you can join us for our next auction. I'm thinking Saturday we'll do that. Maybe a little bit earlier because there's a ton of cards to go through. Uh, Saturday showdown is going to be a 1v1, so it probably won't be especially long. I'm not going to do like a longer case break style of Saturday showdown this particular week we got the super bowl coming up on sunday might actually watch that heather wants to check out the uh the halftime show i think sunday i might do my barnes and noble video i also got a card show i'm planning on attending either tonight or tomorrow so might bring you a video from that as well we got mystery box Monday. i got a whole bunch of stuff that's coming from mystery box monday i also have a mariana rivera um search series that i got to go through and uh Figure out how much those spots are going to cost. It's uh, for a PSA 10, Marion Rivera. It's a Mystery Box Monday special that was made especially for the channel uh, as a fundraiser. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that once I dig into that product a little bit and price it out. We also have our 2022 Top Series 1 break coming up next Wednesday. So mark your calendars for that. That's going to be a fun one. I plan to break at least maybe like four, five, six cases um, we'll be breaking all night long. I know it's a school night, but uh, I'll rest up on Tuesday night and get caught up on my sleep. And we'll we'll break from probably until I don't know at least I, I'm hoping at least four hours. Uh, looking for Wander Franca Golds and Parallels as he's the best guy in that set. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow for the Saturday Showdown and an auction. Good night, everybody.